Hello guys, today we will talk about PC Linux OS. But before talking about PC Linux OS, we need to know a little bit of history about this distribution and how it came from. So if we look at this graph, there is three major distributions that were available in the 1990s. The Debian, Slackware, and Red Hat. If we look at a closer look, you'll notice that Red Hat had... Everyone knows that Red Hat uh, is supporting Fedora for its desktop environment. So we have all this Fedora around here. And there is also Mandrake, which came out of Red Hat. And Mandrake had many distributions. Alt Linux came out of Mandrake. PC Linux OS also came from Mandrake. Mandriva and then Open Mandriva also came. And Magia. So since we are covering PC Linux, we go to the website. If you notice in the website, the website is old fashioned looking, but they have all the modern things that you expect from a Linux distributions. For example, the kernel, they have a kernel update, which is February 9. They have the kernel 5.16.8, which is also the latest one. The latest one is 5.16.9, but also it is considered a, the latest kernel version as for firefox they give you also it's 97.0 which is also the latest one concerning the distribution downloads they have three main versions kde mate and xfce and they have also the community release if we go into the community release we will notice that they have three main distributions the first one is lxqt and if you notice, it is updated in 18 January, which is a recent one, 1.8 gigabyte. There is also Openbox 2022, which is 2.4 gigabyte, which is big, but it has a lot of programs. And they have also Openbox Mini, which is updated from 11 September. They have also the TDE, which is the Trinity desktop, the Mini and the normal one. The Mini is 1.7 gigabytes and the main one is 2.5 gigabytes so the one that we will discuss today is pc linux open box 2022 so let's start so we logged into pc linux os and as you see there's a minimal feel you can see that trash can has also a very not a flashy look and we have here the plank bar and i have also tint to with a minimal items if I right click because it is open box, you have this menu. Also, they did not work on a menu or a theming, just a simple menu that you can use. Let us start first with the plank. First, we have the MPV media player. They are using PC Man FM, Audacious for the sound, Firefox. Let us open Firefox. It is very fast in opening Firefox. And if we look also at the distribution of Firefox, it is using a 97.0, which is also the latest one. Looking also here, they have an applications. If I right click, you have all these. It's a wonderful menu. It's very uh, good menu so that you can go over the applications. But I will use the menu, the open box menu for that. There is also here an icon for the simple update notifier. I already updated everything when I installed this, so we don't need to do it, but I will show you how we can update it also. I have also here the network, which is said that it is connected, also the sound and the time. Okay, let us look at uh, the menu. We have the applications menu with all the applications. Let us cover first the first uh, first level. File manager is the PC Man FM. The terminal, we have the terminal we can go, let's say, check how much we are using. We are using 342 megabytes of RAM. And if we want to find the kernel, we are using 5.16.8, which is also the latest one. As, as I told you, I am using uh, the latest update. If I want to update this software, what I will do is I'll put SU, I'll put the password. I can say APT update. So it's a very nice feature if, although it is the uh, RPM packages, but you can use the APT the same as you do, you use with uh, Debian. So as you can see, it, it updated. 
let us if, say if there is something we we need to upgrade so the the update there is the kernel now they are using 5.16.9 which we can update it now but i will not update it so it's good that they they have the latest uh, kernel let us say i want to install uh, htop very simple and it will install htop let me run it so as you can see we are using 337 megabytes of ram so let us close it so we finished the terminal we have a pcc which is the pc linux pc linux control center it is a basic one the install i will there is another uh, link for the install i will not press it they have also for sharing something for the network and sharing and configuring if you have some proxies setting up the printer scanner all of these that you have it it will directly get them because it has a very big driver support another thing you can manage the system services you can look at the services that are running and you can stop them if you want it's a very nice feature that you can have especially since it is uh, not system d so so sometimes you get lost how you can start or stop a service so you can use this one the fonts you can use manage users on the system I already use this one. You need to create a group. You need to create uh, a user. I already created a user. And in the user, you can put uh, all the the password and the confirmed password. Also, you can also check the groups. I always use a root and I will also, sometimes it will not include the, the wheel. So you need to include the wheel uh, wheel group also. Also the firewall and the boot also. Sometimes you have to be careful here, especially set up the display manager. They have GDM and XDM. Please don't use the XDM, keep it with GDM. Don't change anything here because I chose XDM before and it has it caused me some problems. So that is the control center, a basic one. It's not, it doesn't have any much uh, information, but there's some useful things, especially the users, if you want to create a user, the next important one is the synaptic. That's the one that we were talking about. And if you notice here, it is the this, this similar one that, that you can see with Debian. But the problem, it is outdated. So they use a very uh, basic one from synaptic. If you look at the about, it is from 2004. I think synaptic here is 0 0.7080, something like that. So they are still with the old one. If, and you can notice here the Debian logo that is available so it's good that they use the synaptics for their packaging if you want to update everything you you can mark all upgrades you mark them and then you can apply and you can upgrade upgrade everything so here you have say to be upgraded they have also some packages that you can upgrade and if you notice the 5.16.9 also that needs to be installed so you can use the terminal or you can use the synaptic. Preferably, I prefer to use the synaptic because it is very easy to install and anything. I will search for htop. And it will tell me htop and it is he has here a green, which means it is already installed. The thing with PC Linux OS, it doesn't have too much packages. We have are only 16,087 packages as compared to Debian, which has around 50,000. But all the main packages are there, and also we have the latest version. If you install Inkscape in Debian, it will uh, it will be at 0 0.9. And here we are at 1.1.1, which is also the latest one. So what is the difference here with PC Linux OS, is although it has an old look, but most of the software are up to date. So this is a very good plus for PC Linux OS. The next thing that, of course, they have four desktops. They call them Water, Fire, Earth, and Air, which is good. Open box, of course, you have the open box configuration. If you want to configure, I already configured uh, some of the theme. I use the Onyx theme. The preferences, there's the logout, the re reboot, shutdown, and suspend. For the applications, now I installed htop. Sakura, also the terminal, and Xterm. For archiving, uh, you are using Brasero for the CD, Timeshift for the backup, and X Archiver 
For the configuration, of course, you have AR and R, the Bluetooth, if you want to configure your computer, the printer, LX appearance for the open box, uh, open box menu editor. This is a good, good plus because now in Debian, I don't think they have now the open box menu editor. Let us click it. So it gives you this open box, the one that you are seeing, and you can change it whatever you want. Let's say this is the open box opconf reconfigure, which is open box opconf reconfigure, which is here. You can change, you can delete this one, delete this one. You can change it from here instead of looking at the menu.xml, which is in the configuration file, which is a good plus I, I, I see also. No problem. Bleach bit for the removal or the cleaning of the cache. DD copy, gparted. My live USB, it is a very good uh, addition here. You can uh, you can hear uh, make an ISO for all your settings. Let's say you want to update everything, install all the software that you need, and you want to make an ISO, a personalized ISO. You can put your USB and you can make the ISO directly from here. For graphics, there is a flame shot. There is GIMP, and if you notice here, GIMP, they have the their own uh, customized auto auto start. Uh, drawing and if you notice also about GIMP they are using also 2.10.30 which is 2021 which is also the latest one so you will expect most up-to-date versions of many of the software I also used uh, installed Inkscape it is it was not installed fire uh, internet we have Firefox network and zoom some people might not like that zoom is installed by default because uh, it is not an open source uh, software, but they included Zoom also if you want to to install it. Many of the things that have difficulty in installation, they already included it. That's why they included Zoom. And also the same thing with, you will see also, and the same way with VirtualBox. You'll have a very hard time installation of VirtualBox in, uh, in PC Linux OX, OS. That's why they included the links so directly you can press VirtualBox Guest Edition or VirtualBox Manager and it will install it for you. I will install it. This program will download and install the Oracle VirtualBox. Do you want to continue? It's very easy because uh, if you don't do it like this, you will, have, you will face problems. In the end, concerning PC Linux OS, we can say that it is an, an in-between operating system. It is... It combines the old with the new, the old with the use of SysV in it, and with the new because it also included the latest software. It is a rolling release and it is a very stable rolling release.